or left? This one. Hello, everyone. Is everybody on? We're just going to take a couple minutes to have everybody um, on the show. this is just a test run for us we want to see how this goes and if this goes well and if you guys want to watch more of these shows let me know in the comment section below so i think we have some people on right now this is the first time i'm doing it so i hope this turns out well so today we did a live um cooking show for hic um, and I thought, well, let's see how it goes on my YouTube channel. And what we're going to make today is um, this uh, curried paste that has basically saved my life. When um, times when I'm super busy or when I'm not feeling well, this is something that I have in my refrigerator all the time. And I, I don't understand why I haven't done a video for it. I, I just don't understand. And I was thinking about it. Um, of doing a quick video and I'm thinking what should I do and so I opened up my refrigerator and I thought well I haven't shared this recipe this is a lifesaver for me so let's do it how do you use this um, please go ahead also if you guys have any questions that you want to ask go ahead and ask me those questions so and I'll answer you those questions while we make this how do you use this I will show you a recipe right after we're done making this um, how to make curried corn, let's say. Um, but I usually use it, like let's say if you wanted to make ground beef curry, if you have ground beef ready, and even if you don't have it ready, but if you want it instant, you put a little bit of oil, you put a little bit of this mixture in there, um, you add your ground beef in there, you can add your potatoes in there, uh, mix everything really well, cover it, it's done. Your curry is done. That's how fast you can do it. Now, do you see all these ingredients over here? You see all these ingredients here? All these ingredients go in here. So every time you want to make anything, you have to take all these ingredients out in order to make this. So next time, if you follow this recipe, what you will have to do is just take out one bottle and you're ready to go. So what we're gonna do is, we, I'm not making too much because I already have half a bottle here. So I'm only making, um, this is my six ounce can of tomato paste. So I'm only using the six ounce, but if you wanted to, you can go ahead and use um, more tomato paste if you like. Can we use for vegetarian? Can we use for vegetarian? Definitely. The recipe that I'm going to be making right now um, after I'm done with this, because I want to show you how, I'm gonna, uh, how I use it, I'm going to be making curry corn for you guys. So that's vegetarian. Um, you can use it for okra curry. You can, you can use it for eggplant curry. You can use it for anything, even for uh, making um, chana batita. It's if you wanted to make chana batita. You can use that as well in that. So that's why I'm saying this is super simple, sim uh, super simple, and it's going to make your life so much easier. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and explain you just all the ingredients and then we will kind of eyeball everything and you will have to see what you like in there more and what you don't like, but I'll give you approximate measures, okay? We're gonna start off with about two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna use about a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Here I have about um, seven to eight um, curry leaves. Now, curry leaves, I usually bring them from the um, store, and I put them straight in the freezer. Where do you buy these spices from? Where do I buy the spices from? I usually go to the Indian store to buy the spices from, um, but the other place that I buy them is also Restaurant Depot. Restaurant Depot has big bottles of them. Um, the nice thing about now that we're in quarantine or um, at home, you can buy these big um, spices and then throw them in the freezer. Um, 
take out some that you're gonna use and then throw the rest in the freezer. They re preserve really well in the freezer and that's what I do. Usually when I go, instead of one, I'll pick up two. Just because I go through so much of it. Also to turmeric, same thing. Costco has turmeric, uh, um, Tones, I think this is from Sam's. Um, I believe these are from Restaurant Depot. And then also, now these, uh, the chili garlic uh, sauce, if you follow my channel, I can't live without this stuff. This stuff is so good. I, in fact, just had my daughter-in-law pick some up for me today from Target. So Target has it, Walmart has it. Um, ginger garlic paste, I make myself at home. Uh, I do have a video of that, you can check out. Uh, just put down ginger garlic, uh, Rihanna's Cuisines, and it should pop up. The curry leaves, um, you have to get that from the Indian store. And bring it home, I bring it home, I put it in the freezer. Um, whenever I want to use it, I take it out frozen, take out as much as I want, wash it down, and I'm ready to use. And that's beautiful. Look at how it just preserves. It doesn't change the color. It's perfectly, perfectly fine. We have another question. A couple. Okay. Um, uh, when are you going to air the recipe? Um, this video is going to turn into one of my um, recordings. Uh, yeah. What is that? Yeah, it should. Um, I will share it again also, but it should stay in YouTube so you guys can watch this video again. But if anybody wants this to be one of the recipes that I usually post on YouTube, let me know. I'll do it again for you guys. Just for you guys. Um, another question. Yeah. Uh, we need... Uh, could you share how you budget your groceries for a month? Sure, I'll share that in just a second. Let's start first just mixing this. So while this is mixing, I can talk about that. All right, um, then I've got uh, about, a, we'll do about a tablespoon of fresh ginger and garlic. I've got fresh ginger and garlic mixed over here. A tablespoon of my chili garlic sauce, uh, six ounces of tomato paste, salt to taste, a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of ground cumin, teaspoon of coriander powder, a tablespoon of lemon pepper. Now, if you guys don't eat as tart as we do, please lessen that. We just love tart food. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of garam masala here. And I think I have all my ingredients. And then here I have two cans of corn that I have washed. And they're 15.25 ounces, I believe. I washed them, drained it, and it's ready to go. Um, this will be after we're done with this paste recipe, okay? And then I have some fresh coriander in here that is chopped. So let's get started. Okay, got my stove on. I'm gonna add the two tablespoons of olive oil in here. The reason why you wanna also add the olive oil is one, it's gonna um, cook up the tomato paste and you, you have to, you have to, you have to cook the tomato paste. If you don't cook the tomato paste, what happens is, um, if you don't cook the tomato paste, what happens is, you're not gonna get that rich taste um, from your curries. You know, sometimes when you eat a certain curry and you'll feel like, wow, it's got that, it's just so yummy. Well, it's because you cook the uh, tomato paste. If you don't cook it, it's gonna have a raw taste to it. Okay, so I'm not gonna put it on very high. This is quite medium low because it's gonna start splattering, okay? We'll go ahead now. Let me get this out of the way here. Let's go ahead and add the turmeric in here. Now, for my YouTube shows, I usually have stuff in little containers, but we're doing YouTube live. I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see also the spices and stuff that I usually um, have on behind the scenes, okay? So at this point, what I'm going to do is, is you got to wait until your um, mustard seeds pop. If you don't wait for the mustard seeds to pop, you're going to have, when you eat whatever you're making, it's going to have a very um, bitter taste to it. Because if, the, if these don't pop, they have a very um, bitter taste to it. So you have to make sure that they pop. After they pop, we're going to go ahead and add our curry leaves in here. So um, I don't want to keep it too high because it's going to splatter all over the place. kind of want to go slow on that. So while that's happening, we had the question on budgeting for the month. And I gotta be totally honest with you that um, I usually cannot budget for the month because my business is making YouTube videos. Um, I, 
I tend to um, experiment with recipes and I cook one, two, three times, four times, sometimes even five times before I get the recipe. I think there was one recipe, which is I think the non recipe that I did. I'm gonna lower this because I don't want it to. So you see how that's splattering? Let's go ahead and add our. And I had some water um, inside the bowl. That's why that happened. So just be careful. Um, so because I test my recipes so that when they come to you, they have to be a hundred percent. And that is the reason I cannot budget. I always need things from the grocery store. So honestly, I'm going to be very, very honest with you that it's very hard for me to budget just because I'm constantly making stuff, trying recipes so that I can perfect it for you all. Now you see here that the curry leaves, can you get a close-up? And see here that the curry leaves and the, the mustard seeds are, are kind of toasty. So at this point, again, just want to make sure that your stove is a little lower because it's going to splatter again. I'm going to add that one tablespoon of ginger and garlic. By adding these in the steps that I'm mentioning, really, it really, really makes a difference in the end product. It really does. By frying up the ginger and garlic, by frying up the um, sambal, it's not dead ingredients. It's you're really reviving them. Okay, I added up a little bit of too much of the sambal. So that's up to you. It's how much you want to add in there. Okay. At this point, while all this is frying up, you should start smelling that ginger and garlic. I'll add in things I'm making chicken, because whenever I put ginger and garlic in my food, he thinks I'm making chicken. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato paste in here. I want my tomato, all these are in the, in the steps that I do, and the reason behind the steps is so that everything fries in different times. All right, so if I would have added all the powdered um, spices in there, they would have fried up way too much and then the tomato paste takes a while to cook up. So now we're gonna add the tomato paste in here and we're gonna cook the tomato paste until you have a color that is more like a maroon color. So uh, I know that the tomato paste is red, but I will show you the difference of when we put the tomato paste in compared to when it has fried up, uh, cooked up really, really well. So at this time, let's go ahead and increase our temperature just a little bit. And do we have a question, Sway? We have a comment and a question. Okay. So someone said, can we use this curry to cook lentils, chickpeas, green grams, and etc.? Um, so the question is, Sumaya, can you say it a little louder? Can we use this curry to cook lentils, chickpeas, green grams, and etc.? Definitely. What was the first one that they said? Lentils. Lentil curry. I have used this in my lentil curry all the time. All the time. And it turns out amazing. And we also have a comment. Someone is coming from Kenya. Wow! I have a viewer from Kenya. Sumaya. They have to see me when I say that. Hmm? Oh, oh, oh. Habari liyanku, habari liyanku. Kiswai liyanku me bunjika bunjika, lakini nadiwa kidogo kidogo. So I, I hope you understand that I know a little bit of Kiswahili, but welcome. So happy, so happy that I have a viewer from Kenya. And then, um, a lot of people are just saying yummy and we need more recipes in Ramadan. Inshallah, um, we're also doing the live program. Um, on what I'll do is um, I'll put a link of my Facebook page. Go on there. You guys are going to have some really fun this Mahi Ramadan. I've come up with a schedule for this Mahi Ramadan that you can follow. 
not to the T. It's just something, it's a calendar, not a schedule. It's a calendar. And I have about three, four things listed every day for the four weeks of my Ramadan. And then the beginning of the week, what I'm going to do is for the week, I'm going to post what we're, what you can make like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'll also add the links on there. So you, when you see the links, it's going to be easier for you to just go to the videos, get your uh, stuff ready. And um, so that's something new that I'm doing. All the updates are going to be on my page. So please go ahead, like my page. I will add the Facebook page link in the, in the description box below or the comment below. I'll pin it so you can see it. Um, the other thing we have new, oh yeah, so we're doing the live videos through HIC, which is through Orlando, and if you, I'll put their link on there, so it's every Saturdays, um, 2 o'clock Central Time, 3 o'clock Eastern Time, am I correct? Right? So Florida time is 3 o'clock, and Minnesota time is 2 o'clock, mm -hmm. so I hope I got that right, all right? All right. So yeah, so um, that's every Saturdays for the next four weeks. And that also, I will update the recipes that we are gonna be making live on my show. So do you see here now, we have a nice, in fact, you can see that um, a little bit of it is started sticking on the bottom, which tells me that my mixture is doing a really, really, it's cooked up really nicely. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my turmeric in here. And when I'm not doing videos, this is how I cook, by the way. But for you guys, I measure everything out. So um, I did call out the measurements in the beginning of the video. Just gonna mix this a little bit. And we have another question. I have a fun question. Um, did you go to college to learn cooking? No, I didn't. My, dream, my dream job was to become a nurse. I never achieved that because I just, well, when I decided to go, when I just, oh yeah, uh, I had coriander powder. So we did cumin powder, we did coriander powder, and then we did the turmeric. Um, so I got pregnant with my son and we decided that, you know, was I gonna work, go to school and raise him, or was I just gonna stay home, enjoy him and just raise him? And I loved kids. And so we decided that I was going to stay home. And so, um, no, I, I, but I did do two years of my college um, and I did a computer program and I did a um, health unit coordinator course, which is HUC. Um, so in goes my salts. And so I'm self-taught, but I can't take all the credit because my mom has been my inspiration throughout all this. She is my backbone to my cooking. Um, I've learned cooking from her. When we were back in Africa and I was only maybe six, seven years old, we used to do catering. And I would be sitting there packaging the nan patais, the cookies, and we also used to make, um, we used to make um, lemingtons. Lemingtons are, um, they're cakes that you, they're dipped in um, chocolate and then they're dipped in coconut. Um, also, gorgeous. My mom used to make gorgeous. This is ground um, garam masala that's going in. And um, so my mom was amazing because, you know, at the, if you're looking at this, maybe, what is this, uh, about 35, 40 years ago, she knew how to make gorgeous and all that without internet and stuff. And I learned from her. Um, I really never thought I was going to do this, but she's always done catering. And just by growing up and watching her, it has inspired me to do what I'm doing right now. So mom, I love you. Uh, thank you very much. And then after I got married, my mother-in-law has been my other inspiration. Um, and I've learned quite a bit from her as well. But I also love, love learning from everybody else. This is lemon pepper going in. I, um, if a recipe is something I eat, if I really, really like it, I will always ask for the recipe and I will try and post it and I'll try and make it so that, I just feel like sharing recipes, you are really sharing the love of cooking and um, so yeah, so that's that's it. Um, so a lot of people are asking are like, what is the estimation of measurements for the ingredients? In okay, it? so in the beginning of the video, I did call out the measurements, but what I am going to do 
is once we get done with this video, in the comment section down, in the comment section, or I've never done this before, so I don't know how this goes, or if I can pin a comment, or in the description box below, I'll put down the whole list of the ingredients and the measurements. So you guys can just go back down there and see. Now the other very important thing is taste test, taste test, taste test. This is completely done. Look at it, look at it. The color is changed, it's thick, and also the other thing is the smell is amazing. You always want to give it a taste test. Um, we did add a little bit more of the sambal, but it's really, really good. Yummy. Okay. So this time, let's go ahead and shut the stove off. <clears throat> so, um, I kind of lost my thought there. Um, so at this point, let's say you tried it and you felt like, eh, the garam masala is not. Go ahead and add some in there. Just don't turn the sh uh, stove off. Cook it a little bit so it cooks in there. Also, all the other spices as well. But, um, so it all depends on your taste. You know, I might like it super, we, we love it tang. We, we eat a little bit more salt than we should. But um, I just like my food super, um, like you put it in your mouth and it wakes up your senses. That's how I like my food. So this is where you do your taste test and you can uh, um, adjust it. Now let's see if you guys, um, some of you will like it super spicy, like my, my, daughter, my sister-in-law. You can add more of this stuff or you can go ahead and add habaneros. You could add um, serranos. You can add whatever you like. This is, I'm just showing you something that is what I do. Then you can just go ahead and run with this recipe, okay? So this is completely ready. You want this to completely cool down before you put it uh, in your uh, bottle, whichever bottle you're gonna use. But because this is a live show, I'm just going to do it right now. And then now we're gonna proceed to making curried corn. And we have another question. Uh, how do you know when the garam masala is a perfect taste? Like it's um, where it's supposed to be. Okay, so basically when you put it in and you try the recipe, when you try the, not the recipe, when you try it, the taste should be like as if you're eating a curry. So it should have that that um, taste of the, like right now, even though I had water and washed it down, I can still taste the ginger and garlic. I can taste the um, um, garam masala in there. I can taste the chili um, garlic. So so the, the taste has to kind of linger in your mouth where you're gonna know, okay, this is perfect. So yes. then there's a confusion. Okay. Someone said, can you ask your mom if she has made a video for her red chili garlic chutney? And then someone else said that her daughter picked it up from Target. Okay, so this one here, this one is from, you can get it at Target, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at any Asian stores. But I wish I had uh, the chutney that I make at home. I don't use it in this recipe, but I have used it in, if you've seen my samosa, um, um, ring samosas, and also uh, my weave buns, which are baked. I put that chutney on the bottom and then I put my uh, topping on top, which is either chicken or um, beef stew or whatever you want to use, or you could use potato mixture as well to be vegan. <coughs> that chutney is delicious. Everybody that has tried it has asked for the recipe, has made it, and one of them is my sister, Maliha, her father-in-law. Um, everybody, my, my, my own uh, family members are just, they love that recipe. They love that, I can't do without it, and I actually just finished my um, chutney on Friday. So I make a whole bunch. I will try and put a link of that on the bottom in the description box below so you guys can refer to that. Um, so that's my red chutney. This here is just the sambal chili garlic sauce that I use in here because I feel like the taste is super amazing. So I'm going to move everything else out of the way because we are actually done with using everything. So let's say now, let's pretend, let's pretend that we did none of the stuff that we did in the beginning. So we've got the curry, uh, the, the starter, the curry starter, the tomato paste starter, um, the starter, I took it out of the fridge. 
Okay, let's see. Yes, go ahead. Um, someone asked, can we freeze the chutney? Can you freeze this? Or are you asking about the red chutney that I have mentioned that I've made before? Oh, lots of questions. Okay, that's okay. We can do it before I start this. Okay, okay. Um, so, do you have a catering business too? I don't. Um, I used to cater a lot before, but I felt like it took away from me doing this full time. The uh, Doing the videos, testing the recipes, uploading them, editing them, it's a bunch of work. I mean, if I would have actually uploaded this on a regular YouTube, just a channel, or just a, this would have been probably between four to five minutes. But now because we're live, you see how long it takes for everything to get done. That doesn't even um, count the prep work ahead of time and also the cleanup afterwards. So no, I don't do catering anymore. Um, can you substitute something else for the curry leaves or leave them out? They are hard to find in my area. Sure, you can definitely leave them out, but I think um, the taste of the curry leaves is what makes your dishes. I would say if you can get even dried leaves, um, I don't know if Amazon has it or not, but you can dry them out and then crush it and use that as well. But yes, if you just cannot find it, then yes, leave it out. It's completely okay. All right, now let's get our pot started here. So now we're pretending, right? We're pretending that we never made this, the curry, the starter, all right? The paste. So into my pan here, the, it's so uh, tasty. So in here, I'm going to add about you don't need much about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil you don't really need much all right now there's two ways you can make this you can also make this um, with adding coconut cream in here and that also turns out amazing so you could do a co uh, creamed coconut uh, creamed coconut or you could do curry coconut so it depends and I'll show you when you would add that in right Next thing what I am going to do is uh, once your oil gets really nice and hot, you want to add about two tablespoons of the paste we just made. I'm just going to eyeball. Okay. Now remember, we have already cooked this so this will not require any more cooking. I'm just doing this to show you that if this was not um, heated through, then you would just cook it in the oil to kind of cook, um, warm it up, all right? Now, you open up the two cans of corn, you drain it, wash it, drain it, add your corn in here. Yes, we have a question. Um, someone's asking what brand is the germ masala? The garam masala I make at home, and I do it a very, very easy way. I buy the cloves, I toast them a little bit, and I make powder out of it. And then I add my cinnamon powder inside of it, and I just mix it together. And I just buy my cinnamon from um, uh, either, I was looking for it at uh, Sam's, but I'll show you. The one at Sam's that we got was... this one here and um, for me that's a very small bottle because I would go through it really quickly so I usually buy a container like a big container like this from restaurant people and again freeze it don't if you're not going to use it very much highly recommend that you freeze your spices and use it when you need it also uh, you can go ahead and add these uh, red peppers in here if you like so when you add the oil add the red peppers first and then add your um, curried mixture, and then add your corn in it. Now, um, you could also add this in the um, paste that we made here, all right? So you can do that as well. I just can't take too much spicy stuff, so I'm not going to put it in. 
So you see here that this is um, nicely, it's done. You don't need to cook this anymore. By cooking it, it's canned corn, you're gonna lose the taste. So this is good enough. Now, if you want it to, the texture is completely, completely up to you. I am going to do a taste test because like I said, I really highly recommend tasting everything. Okay. The taste is perfect. The lemon is perfect. The chili is perfect. The salt is perfect. But I want to make it a little bit more gravy. So now if it was, if the lemon was not perfect, I would have added some lemon juice, but because it's perfect, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water in here, just a little bit. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we have a funny question. Yeah. So there's two of them. What's your favorite Gujarati dish? And do you remember what you crave in your pregnancy? And by that, I, I think they're meaning like me. What okay. pregnancy you had with me. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so this is completely done. Look at this. All right, now if you had, um, I will answer those questions. If you had some crushed parsley plates, which I do right here, I'm gonna use that for garnish. Or you, we don't have to use this because I have fresh, uh, fresh love. I apologize. Uh, I have not had, have not been able to find fresh cilantro for the longest time, so I thought I didn't have any. So let me get this stuff out of the way and I'll talk. Um, so the first question is my Gujarati dish. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I love eating. And um, you know, if you give me danusa and roti with some sweet vedala, vedalia onions, that's it, and some siro, oh man, that's the best thing. In your pregnancy. My pregnancy, pregnancy thing was um, I used to create sweet dishes, like to the point where it was unbelievable. So you know the the sale that we eat the the thin sale. Uh, it's um it's just the sale. I have a recipe for that, but you know where you just put everything in there, no milk, nothing. It was just the sale itself. I would make like two or three bakes of it. I would sit down and at night I would have a big bowl and that's I would eat that. And I'm telling you, sweets were just I would eat anything and everything sweet. It was just I craved a lot of sweet items. Then that was with my son, and then with Sumaya, I used to crave a lot of olive bajias. Um, so they're made with olives and cheese and white flour. If you want to watch that, let me know. Next week, I can do a live video for you guys. Let me know. What about with Sakina? Um, with Sakina, I think it was more like I used to crave paratas. That's why, if you see, I, I cook a lot with paratas. Um, I just love uh, paratas, like layered paratas, uh, spinach paratas. Um, I even used to make uh, leftover rice. If you have leftover rice and batena sack or uh, darnusa, I would just mix all that together and then put flour in it and leftovers would actually become my uh, rotis or paratas. So yes, paratas was it. So now let's go ahead and take a look here. Now this is going to depend on how much you want to add water in there, how much you don't. It's really, really up to you. The topping that goes with this is basically up to you. You could do potato chips. You could do um, string potatoes. You know those uh, shoestring potatoes is what they're called. You could do chevro, samosa chapri. Jeez. Ah, um, you do so many things. I just can't think of it offhand right now. But, oh, and I forgot to mention to you. So once everything is done, um, you can make this uh, different by adding some coconut cream here. And what you can do is add three, four tablespoons at a time and see how much actually that you want in there. So I've done my table. Oops, I apologize for that. Then we're gonna take some fresh chopped cilantro and it goes on top. And then we're also gonna grab grab some lemon now I told you that the taste was perfect but my husband loves sour stuff so he always likes to splash his food with um, 
some lemon or some lime. So you could either cut it up as any way as you like. Sprinkle some on or just throw it just like that on top. Do and you, we are good to go. Do you have a recipe oh God. for machi? Machi? Ba? Machi pa or machi but? But. Oh wait, and then they said that it would be great to see it live. Sure. Okay, so what I will do is let's see if we can find out. Uh, what was the other thing that I mentioned that we could do next week? I kind of forgot uh, what I said. Um, yeah, so if, if, if I get a lot of people that want to watch the live shows and if I can get a lot of people on here um, and also let me know. So if we can, you know, if I have like, 20, 25, 30 people saying, no, we want much, but then I have 100 people saying they want something else. So then I'll just kind of see what people are voting for and we'll go ahead with that. I will announce um, announce what time we will go uh, live next Saturday just because I do have that first live show that today we made and I can show you what we made today. We made these beautiful day bites. Oh. Made these beautiful day bites. I do have a video for these. These are absolutely delicious. And then we also did a video on... They said that you said... They said that you said olive budgies for next week. Oh, okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. And we also did curry starter kits. These are lifesavers for my curries that I do. In fact, I just shot a kukupaka video. I know I have a kukupaka video on YouTube, but I think I kind of missed a clip where I added the coconut cream in it. So I had a lot of people like not very happy. So I decided to reshoot re that video. What is machi bat? What is machi bat? Yes. Machi bat is in, uh, I think it, it's from East, it's, it's from, it's an African dish because they use uh, fish and then you make like a curried coconut mixture with tomatoes and all that stuff and it goes on top of the fish um, and then you eat it with um, whatever you like. I, we usually eat it with uh, paratas, so. Uh, but um, how do you suggest a portion from that Ziploc kit? Okay, I use half. So the thing is that I usually don't like to use too many freezer bags, so I'll put like, I'll put that, when we make some, I portion those out and I do have a video for that so I highly recommend for you to watch it because I talk about all that in there um, so I do do two portions so I use half of it for uh, whatever I'm doing and then the other half is gonna go in for like let's say after two three days if I need to use it but I, I've kept it in the fridge for about a week and it has been completely fine so and those are actually my, my lifesavers so I think we're done with this dish um, I I did, I did give it a taste test, but Sumaya wants me to try it again. So we'll do it again <laughs> because, um, Sumaya, honestly tell them, what do you guys, what do you think of the corn? I like it, but I like my lime in it. So you see how I felt that the lime was enough, but I've got my daughter and my husband, which just loves such tart food that, <laughs> so that's what the lime on there is for. But you see how crispy that corn is? Yeah. The reason why it's so crispy, it's because we didn't cook it so much. We just put everything in there. You just don't want to cook the corn so much. When I um, was, uh, whenever I made it for the mosque and stuff, I would just transfer the big dabas or the big uh, cans of corn into the silver trays. I would make this mixture. I would add the coconut. Let me show you the coconut that I like to use. Um, this is a small one, um, but I just found out that they have these on Amazon as well. They are amazing. Um, this is coconut cream. I highly recommend that you use coconut cream. Do not buy coconut milk. The reason is because 
they take the coconut cream and they add water in it. So you're actually not getting what, you, what you're paying for. So you buy the coconut cream, you can add it to whatever you want. If you want, if you feel like it's too much coconut, you can always add that little bit of water in there. But now you have extra coconut cream that you can use for something else, where it just goes such a long way. So I never buy coconut milk. It's always coconut cream that I buy. So this brand um, is available on Amazon. It's a really, really good brand. I will put the link for this uh, in the description box below if you want to go ahead and order that if you like. Um, and then um, the other thing that I was gonna, I was, I was talking about, what were we talking about? Um, we're gonna start, we're gonna do videos next no, week. No, because I was talking about the corn. Oh yeah, so then I would just, like if I had this, I would just add enough coconut milk in here and now you have a different dish that you can uh, use the coconut. Uh, oh, we have two uh, important things. Yes. Oh, three. <laughs> No, I don't know. Uh, is this a low carb dish? Um, no. Corn has a lot of carbs. It has a lot of sugar in it. It's just the natural sugars. We're not adding processed sugars in there, but if you are not diabetic, it's healthy for you to eat. But for somebody who is diabetic, it is not, I wouldn't be able to sit down right now and Put a big bowl of it and just devour it because my sugar is going to skyrocket. But let's say if somebody else who's not diabetic can have it and you should be completely fine. So um, depends on you know if you are diabetic or not for the low carb. Uh, where do you buy coconut cream? Okay so this coconut cream I had bought from um, Dragon if you're in Minnesota. It's, um, it's an Asian store. And um, because I don't go grocery shopping anymore, because we don't go out, I wanted to see, because this is my lifesaver, I wanted to see if Amazon had it. I just checked it about two days ago and Amazon has it. I think it's about, I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, three or four uh, boxes like this is around $10. So, uh, okay. So, not related to this recipe, okay. but can you please weigh flour whenever you use for U.S in UK as our measuring cups are bigger? Um, I will try my best. Um, the only problem I have with that is that when I'm doing a lot of those recipes and I'm prepping, it's just like quickly putting it in cups and then you know when you take out your scale and have to re-measure everything in the scale, it gets a little bit difficult. But I will try my best. Um, some of the dough recipes I have already made and they kind of, I use the same dough recipe for other things, so I'll try my best. I can't promise, but I will honestly try my best. Um, a lot of people are using your tips for losing weight and that helped a lot. Okay. Some people want um, to make, for you to make more low carb or keto recipes on your sure. channel. Sure, sure. And... Um, uh, someone asked if you could, for your ingredients, measurement, measure it in grams. So it's easier for that. It's, it's, it's very hard. Like I said, I just mentioned, it's very hard to weigh out those ingredients, but what I would definitely um, suggest is you, t um, you can take like, let's say if I say one tablespoon, then you can just look at how much grams it would be on Google and then transfer it that way. Um, I wish I had the time to actually cater to all of those, but I don't. And so I can only try my best to get those done. Do you have a dipping sauce to go with the date rolls in your date roll platter? Oh, no, I don't. It's, uh, it's just some sprinkles because um, we, we did a picture. So we just did, uh, you're gonna add whatever you want in there, but we just did some sprinkles in there just to give it some color. And then we have some of the, um, the, the uh, pistachios that we have here. That uh, I, I just put it on for the pictures, so. Uh, but no dipping sauce for the date bites. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Can we have more Instapot recipes? Sure, I have posted a, a lot of Instapot recipes. But I'll tell you the truth, what happens is when you post these recipes and you don't get very many views on them, it tells me that people are not interested in IP recipes. Because I've done Nihari Instapot, I've done Biryani Instapot, I've done Pilau Instapot. Um, but if you guys really want, what I can do is after Mahi Ramadan, I will try and uh, do at least one um, IP recipe a month and then I'll try and do one 
um, low carb recipe. So we'll try and do it that way. But uh, I really appreciate all the suggestions and I really, really enjoy this interaction with you all. Okay. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed this time in the kitchen with me. I had an amazing time with you guys. I loved doing this. So if you want to see more of these videos, comment below. Let me know that you guys want to see this and I will make sure that I make time to make um, some videos that are live and then we'll decide on whether it's going to be once a week, once a month or how it's going to be so we can go from there. But I really, really, really appreciate this. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. Remember everybody, stay safe, stay blessed.